G'day cocktail lovers, I hope you're keeping well, I hope things are maintaining some sort of manageability in your world. I don't feel like there's a normal at the moment. We keep talking about with everything going on in the world, particularly with the coronavirus pandemic, we'll find a new normal, a corona normal. I don't know that normal is a word we should be using anymore. We just want things to be manageable and that's, <laughs> that's sometimes more of a challenge than others. But hey, let's do what we can to manage it. And today, I'm going to manage it with a gin and tonic. Because it's gin and tonic day! Most drinks have their own day declared by someone. And why should gin and tonic be any different? One of the really ubiquitous... Ubiquitous! Don't use big words when you've had a couple of drinks. And I haven't even had my gin and tonic yet. But yeah, gin and tonic is enjoyed all around the world. It is, in its essence, one of the simplest mixed drinks, gin and tonic. But even if you don't do any variations, even if you don't do any riffs on it, just gin and tonic can have literally millions of combinations because there are thousands of gins around the world with their own flavor profile. And there's a whole cavalcade of tonic waters uh, you could do, or even make your own tonic water with quinine. Uh, yeah, and yes, historically, as everyone loves to say, the whole thing, gin and tonic, came out of uh, the British trying to uh, combat malaria, because quinine was a good anti-malarial, but it's very bitter, and the first thing was to turn it into uh, a drink, tonic water, basically adding soda water and sugar to it, and then the English being the English go, why not go one further? Let's have some gin in it as well. And from medicinal necessity came a recreational favorite, the gin and tonic. Now, speaking of making it a little bit different, I'm gonna make a slightly savory gin and tonic. This is an Australian gin uh, from South Australia, from the Applewood uh, distillery, it's called Coral Gin. And there's a lovely description on here. It's inspired by the Great Barrier Reef and its tropical surrounds, has the aromatics of strawberry gum, the fragrant spice of riberies, and the salinity of carcala. Carcala is a succulent plant that grows on the Australian coastline, and it absorbs a lot of salinity from the seawater. So there's a little salty edge. It doesn't really taste salty as such, but on the spectrum of gin flavors, it's a bit more savory and it's interesting because the pink color in this is natural. When you see pink gins, it's normally an artificial color and that's normally going to be a sweeter type of gin as well. Whereas this one, it's a natural color and it's, uh, it's, it's more savory. And the overall makeup for this, I'm uh, going from one of my friends, Kirsten, uh, as my resident gin queen. If you ever join the live streams on my Angry Aussie channel, uh, Kirsten knows everything about gin and she's my consultant on this. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to make a gin and tonic now, uh, starting with our lovely Applewood Coral Gin. It's pretty straightforward. We're going straight in the glass. Uh, two ounces of gin. We'll drop that in there. Let's see, I'm just doing it straight in the glass, not even bothering with a mixing glass or anything. So two ounces of gin and going to top it with uh, tonic water. This is an Australian tonic water, uh, Cappy. Uh, there are obviously tonic waters, both big brands and independent brands all around the world. I'm just gonna top it with uh, tonic water. So it's about two to one. Uh, so two ounces of gin and about four ounces of tonic water. I didn't even really bother to measure it. But now I'm just gonna do a little bit of garnish and this was uh, Kirsten's suggestion to make it a bit savory, a little bit unusual garnish wise maybe. I'm gonna put some tomato in here, just some little mini tomatoes I've chopped up. And just for an added little touch, I'm just gonna do a, a pinch of pepper on the top. So it's got that savory edge and you get that uh, peppery aromatics because it's on top of the drink. Um, but there we go, a savory gin and tonic. One of the little millions of variations you could do in here. But uh, let's taste it. Mm. Mm. No, the pepper is a, a good touch. You've got um, all the natural 
uh, botanical flavors from the gin. And like I said, in this case, they're at the more savory end of the botanicals, some native Australian botanicals in there. So while, you know, it's still recognizably gin, it's got characteristics you're absolutely not going to find in gins from other parts of the world uh, because it's got Australian native botanicals in there. And uh, of course the tonic water is slightly bitter, slightly sweet. Uh, some people prefer to use unsweetened tonic water, uh, drier tonic water. And of course there are a huge array of flavored tonic waters out there as well. So it's gin and tonic day. It's a really nice, refreshing drink. And for something so simple, uh, the permutations are almost limitless. When I was looking up, probably my favorite riff, it's called the Gin and Sonic Boom, uh, it was essentially uh, the gin and tonic version of a Jägermeister bomb. You put the tonic water in the glass first and then the gin in a shot glass and drop the shot in and knock it back. I'm being slightly more dignified than that with my savory gin and tonic uh, with its tomato and pepper garnishes in here. But in that whole spectrum of things you can do with different gins, different tonics and different garnishes, uh, go with what works for you. It's a really nice, simple, refreshing drink and it should be something you enjoy, not something that someone tells you what to do. Uh, but whatever you do with the gin and tonic, I hope you enjoy it. Hope to see you again soon. Hey, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, it would be great if you subscribed, uh, left me a comment to let me know uh, what your preferred gin and tonic is, tell your friends about it, and uh, see you again soon for another cocktail recipe. For now, I'm gonna finish this gin and tonic, so I'll say goodbye for now, and cheers.